Hello everyone, this is Nick Nevin with the History Book, and today I'm going to do a little reading with the Witch's Oracle deck to see what people need um, from, from a reading today. What does everybody today need? What are people desiring? What information can I give? will help others today. So I, I shuffled the deck beforehand, but I'll just did a little reshuffle. So we have the Phoenix first. The Phoenix is about resurrection, regeneration. But it's a there's a deeper meaning that it's really about resurrecting into the higher self, into the true self into gathering true knowledge of self. So that's, that's very good. Um, so that's one thing people need right now is to transform their higher self. Then we have the familiar. Familiar is a pet. It's kind of a pet. It's not really a pet. It's an assistant in witchcraft. So this is speaking to me that Perhaps I can give assistance into helping people resurrect, move forward. Silver box. The silver box speaking to me about, again, the true inner self opening up your deeper consciousness. Stop hiding your true self. Stop being closed off. Open the box. Delve deep. Go deep. Inside. Find out who you truly are. The next card is Sharon's Cauldron. Um, this is about ideas brewing. This is also speaking to me about brews, elixirs, potions. So it's speaking to me about remedies. Remedies. What can we do to come out of the box, to go more deeply? Okay, this is pretty good. Next is crystal ball. Crystal ball is about intuitive nature, tapping in to the intuitive part of yourself, which is the psychic sense, which is really the your true inner being has intuition, has psychic sensing, has great knowledge. And people say, oh, I'm not psychic. Well, maybe you're not um, practicing. You know, it's like anything. You have to develop it. Some people are born being very sensitive, being very psychic. They're just born sensitive. And that's kind of how I was born. That is my personality. I'm very sensitive, very emotional. So if you are very sensitive and emotional, this intuitive part of yourself comes through easy because <clears throat> we use it all the time intuitive people go on their feelings they go on how they feel their body how they what is their gut reaction so everybody has feelings the ability to do this it's just are you using this divine sense of yourself this higher part of yourself so this is important just to begin to use that intuitive side and to find out it will help you to navigate life with much more ease if you have a deep understanding, sensing, um, if you tap into your feelings. 
you'll know what to do and which way to go. If you trust, trust those feelings. The next card is Magical Candle. So, magic candle, magic candle. So, fire is the, is the medium to use. Fire is a way to transmute transform. Gold is made from transforming sand in fire creates gold. So I think I'm going to have to do a fire remedy for you. And then Lightning. Lightning. Lightning strikes fast. Fast. You need things speeded up. You need things to come quickly. You need a transformation exactly today, now, immediately. Don't wait. Don't wait. It's talking about not waiting and tapping into also. Um, Electricity, um, electricity in the brain. The brain has all electricity in the brain. So, in the universe, out in space, out from the clouds come electric energy. It's created out here, but there's also electrical energy within your brain. And you have the power within your brain to tap into higher knowledge from all of the universe. The brain is amazing. And most people don't use much of their brain. So you have to work on your brain, work on changing your mind, changing your habits, changing your deep felt beliefs about what you're able to do, about who you are, can become who you should become. What do we want to become? Our, our divine nature, our divine purpose. So, let me just see here. If I get some more messages with the Rose Quartz Crystal Ball. What do people need? Well, I'm feeling new beginnings. Everybody feels like they need a new beginning in relationships, in work and money. Yes, those are the major things people are looking for answers to. Um, people want, people don't search for higher answers. Money, actually, I feel people need a transformation in regards to money in that a lot of people have the thought that money is evil or bad and to have money, you know, we don't, we all know, have seen, see people every day with money that we are disturbing. We don't like them. So we think, well, I don't want to be like that. But you don't have to be that way if you have money. Money is actually freedom. Not having money is bondage because then you are tied to a job. You were tied to limited things because of money. So money is a good thing. And I think that's something we people need right now to transform their thoughts about money to use it wisely. I really believe there's, even if you make money, some people make a lot of money, but they spend a lot of money. So, um, because somewhere deep inside, they don't feel that they deserve to have it or people take their money from them or never pay them back. 
So people have a big problem with money, and I've talked before about poverty consciousness. So I think that's a good subject today to, to give a remedy for poverty consciousness. And poverty consciousness, if you have wealth consciousness, Wealth consciousness will bring in not only money and material things you may need, like a home or a car or just money to pay your bills and things like that, but uh, wealth abundance, prosperity thinking, prosperity mind will bring you better relationships. It will bring you wellness, health. So... A prosperity mind is the better mind to have. So a lot of people need to change the way they feel about money. That's, that's definite. And how they feel about it. it can change your relationship as well. Because prosperity in relationships, you know, you can have... Uh, you can have a negative mindset about relationships, such as, you know, I hear a lot of women men say, men suck. They have this belief in their mind, uh, men, so if you have that belief in your head, you're going to attract people into your life that suck. <laughs> That's, you know, law of attraction right there, but so that needs to be changed too. You have to believe that there is there's better for you. If you think there's nothing better, if you think there's only crappy people in the world, that's what your experience will be. If you believe there's only poor relating, that's what you'll experience. So I, I don't know if I have time. It's going on 13 minutes. I'll have to make a net, another video. I might have to make two videos because I've just, um, well, I'll talk next. What I wanted to make this video about, um, I briefly spoke about Ganesha, Lord Ganesha right here, the elephant, Hindu elephant God. He's here with the flowers and he's here. And Ganesha, represents the psychic mind. Ganesha is super intelligence. He's super power and what his gift is, what he does for people, he can give them higher intelligence, he can give them superpowers, super knowledge, and he is the God that tears down obstacles. And obstacles to what? To our negative mind. He uh, can break patterns. He can break karma. He can release karma. What is karma? Karma is negative thoughts. Karma is negative mind, negative thoughts. And also experience from past lives. And that's what I was going to talk about today is past lives. Because I'm going to be offering some readings, past live readings. And why are past lives important? I never really was into past lives early in my tarot card reading career. I was never much into past lives because I thought, well, who cares? who you were in another life, and I think people were, you know, have these fantasies that they were somehow a higher being in a past life, or the, that's, I think, most people's hopes, is that they are were something special, because everybody wants to be special. Everybody wants to have some kind of super special power. Uh, over the world, over other people, or something to present other people, something to give to the world. They want to be special. Everybody wants to feel special. Somehow, uh, 
So this turned me off to past life readings. But um, over, I'd say, the past, well, it doesn't matter, but the past few years I've become more connected in learning about past life reading. And I really haven't, I don't really offer it. I, it might come up in a reading, but I don't usually offer it because I didn't see it as a way really to help people. But I, I'm interested in it now because it has to do with karma. If you know what happened in past lives, you are still working with those past lives in this lifetime. So, and it's not that you are a bad person and that's why you have a crappy life now. That's, you know, you may have done some bad things that cause bad karma, but there are other parts to karma. Your family karma. And this comes back to prosperity. You could have a family karma where your parents thought negatively about money and they pass that on to you. You know, rich people are selfish. It's also, um, it's presented this way in religion, especially in Christianity. Wealth, you know, a wealthy man can, can't get into to heaven is, is basically what's preached in the Bible. So people have a negative mindset regarding money. It's either money or God. You know, you can either worship money or God. And like I said, you need to have money in order to have freedom. You can help the world. You can do good things if you have money. If your basic needs are met, then you can help other people to live higher spiritual lives. You can live a higher spiritual life, life if you don't have to work a crappy job and be consumed with crappy jobs. So this all goes together. Karma is a way. Um, if you find that meditation and thinking positive, trying to be positive doesn't work. It doesn't work no matter what you think it's still you're getting negative results. If that kind of thing is happening to you, that could be that you have a bad genetic karma through your parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, and on back. I also talk a lot about people in the... Um, people have passed on that don't go into the spirit realm. They're close to earth. They're close to us. They're near us. They surround us. And what happens with that? When our relatives are surrounding us in the earth plane, they're supposed to evolve into the light, into the realm of the divine and spirit. And when they don't do that and they hang around you, their negative thoughts, what they used to think, what they keep continually thinking in a consistent circle going around and around about money, about things not being good, about ne being negative. They're bringing that into your atmosphere. So I always talk about this, that if someone dies, you really need to, especially if you're psychic, if you're intuitive and empath, if you have psychic abilities or psychic sensing and you can sense spirits around you. Um, and I don't mean, I'm talking about ghost spirits. Spirits, there's two different kinds of spirits. Um, one kind, if someone passes into the light of the divine, that's where they're supposed to be. So that's a good spirit. That's a spirit. A ghost is a negative spirit that hangs around the earth plane that is stuck. So you don't want these stuck relatives. <laughs> you know, it's like uh, you can never get Italian relatives to go. <laughs> you know, 
it's like they, they won't go, they won't leave. So it's like that when after they die, sometimes they won't leave. Can't get rid of them. Just like at a party at your house. Can't get rid of them. Sorry, Sue. <laughs> Just making a joke um, about family, my family. So, um, just know, that's my, that's my dog snoring in the background, if you hear that. Just know that karma, karma will help you in this life. Karma reading will help you in this life. Karma won't help you at all. Negative karma will not help you in this life. It's only going to detract. So if you have problems in money, in relationships, in whatever, and you've tried meditation, you've tried, you know, other forms of spirituality to get yourself out of this and it hasn't worked. You've tried positive thinking or, you know, metaphysics and nothing's working. It means karma is affecting you. And we all have karma affecting us. It's not just you if you feel this way. Everybody has it. Uh, but we have to learn to get rid of it. And I can teach you some methods to get rid of your karma, but it's a daily practice. At least you have to do it once a month, but you really should do it daily. And basically it has to do with prayer. And this doesn't, you don't have whatever God you believe in. All right. If you're an atheist, you probably won't be watching my channel anyway, but whatever God or goddess you believe in, whatever divine or if you believe in the universe, the higher divinity, whatever you believe in, you have to, you have to pray to this divinity. Pray for them to help this soul move into the spirit realm to be with the divine. So you have to facilitate this. This is, you know, just say it's your mother. Your mother gave birth to you. So it is, or if it's a grandfather, or if it's somebody you don't know from way back in your family, it's your responsibility because they gave birth to the parents that gave birth, you know, the mother that gave birth to you. So it's your responsibility to take care of them in the afterlife. If they're hanging around, you don't want that. You don't want that. So, uh, a past life reading can help you find out um, what you were in other lives and how you have brought that energy into this life. So if you were, did do negative things, how can you relieve that now? If you, but sometimes it's just good to have the knowledge of what you were in a past life because it can just give you more knowledge as to who you are and what your purpose is here. So if you're struggling with purpose, why am I here? What job am I supposed to be doing? That is a reason to get a past life reading because it will show you who you've been in different lives. And it's not showing you, oh, you were queen of you know, Egypt. No, you, most people are regular people. It's going to show you what what you did in other lives leading up to this life, because there's a reason we're all born into this life. There is a divine purpose for being born. And you may not see that now, but with a past life reading, you will have knowledge that can help you in this life. That can help you to relieve your karma. So I'm going to be back with some kind of remedy for you all, maybe a meditation. So stay tuned for that, and I'm happy to talk with you. If you want to email me at nicknevintarot at gmail.com. I also have uh, a website called thewitchofseacliff.blogspot.com. That's my card. <laughs> and um, so you can always... Uh, you can always find me there. I don't know if you can read that. It might be backwards. <laughs> That's my card. So you can always get a reading at thewitchofseacliff.com.